Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Essie Wrapped in Luxury Collection for Holiday 2022. These came to me from beyondpolish.com, so I will link that website down below. I also have a coupon slash affiliate code with Beyond Polish, which I will have over here and in the description box. Six polishes here all together, and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Head to Mistletoe, and Essie describes this as a metallic sage green with flecks of refined gold pearl. Great formula. It's very opaque. It is a metallic polish, so there definitely are some brush strokes through that metallic finish. That really fine sparkle that's in there actually stands out really well, which I was not expecting. The brush strokes in this did dissipate a little bit as it dried, and it did cover completely for me in two coats. So that is two coats of Head to Mistletoe. The next polish is called Slay It, and this is described as a warm mid-tone gray with brown undertones. Great formula on this one as well. This goes on like butter. It levels itself out really, really nicely. Nearly a one-coater. I honestly could have gotten away with one coat, but I didn't. This did cover completely for me in two coats, and you can see that it was a bit darker after it was fully dry. So that is two coats of Slay It. The next polish is called Midnight Delight, and this is described as a warm cognac nail polish with neutral undertones. This had pretty much the same formula as Slay It, so it was very smooth, very self-leveling, almost a one-coater, but not quite there. I did two coats here, but I do think that you could do one in a rush, and this is another one that definitely dries darker than it is when it's wet. So that is two coats of Midnight Delight. The next polish is called Not So Silent Night, and this is described as a warm bronze metallic with flecks of refined gold pearl. Great formula on this one and great coverage on this one. This is kind of the halfway point between a foil and a metallic. It has that little bit of sparkle, but it does have a little bit of brush stroke as well. Those brush strokes do melt in a lot as it dries. I did end up doing two coats of this one. It was very close in one coat, but I did two anyway. So that is two coats of Not So Silent Night. The next polish is called Carols and Caviar, and this is described as a cool blackened gray polish with blue undertones. This has that same really, really smooth self-leveling formula that the other creams in the collection had. This could easily have been a one-coater. I did two coats just because that's what I do, and it did cover completely for me in two. This is another one that I feel like dried just a little bit darker than it was when it was wet. So that is two coats of Carols and Caviar. And the last polish is called Wrapped in Luxury, and Essie describes this as a rich burgundy red with blue undertones. Great formula on this one as well. It levels itself out very nicely. It does come off a little bit more sheer. I feel like reds like this always tend to have a little bit of a jelliness to them, and this is no exception. Coverage is still really good on this, though. It did cover completely for me in two coats. This is a good staple shade if you don't already have a shade like this in your collection. So that is two coats of Wrapped in Luxury. So... Overall, I think Head to Mistletoe is going to be my favorite. This is the most unique out of the collection. There are some good staple polishes, like Wrapped in Luxury, but overall, I think this one stands out to be the most. It's not like the most unique polish in the world, but it is fairly unique for Essie and especially for this like specific set of polishes. So that one is my favorite. I like the shimmery chrome kind of like minty green color. It's a little unusual for a holiday collection and I appreciate it. So that is the Essie Wrapped in Luxury Collection for holiday 2022. Again, those came from beyondpolish.com, so I will link that website down below. I'll have my affiliate code up here and then the description box. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.